Welcome everyone to Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town. Officially released on Tuesday, March 23rd, so that's actually uh, almost one week from now, but I was able to get a copy of this game early. Shoutouts to my local game store known as Gameplay in Long Beach, California. But yeah, I've been looking forward to this game for so long now. So a lot of people call the year of 2021 the year of farming. I mean, the big titles coming out are Rune Factory 5, this game, Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town. Um, if you like Natsume's Harvest Moon, Harvest Moon One World actually came out earlier this month, and I actually did a playthrough of that whole game um, starting in March 2nd, so you can actually find that on my channel if you would like to see uh, how that game goes. But anyway, this is Pioneers of Olive Town, and it's, it's gotten a lot of hype. Definitely a lot of people regard the Story of Seasons series to be better than the Harvest Moon series because the Story of Seasons series is the true Harvest Moon series because the developers are marvelous. You know, anyway, let's go ahead and um, go to options here and message speed. I'm going to do fast. That shouldn't be a problem. Online communication off. Um, I think I'll just leave that like that. I'm not really sure if that's going to be good or not. I can always avert that later. Sound effects, it's all good. Music, confirm button. What? You can change your confirm button? That's actually pretty hilarious. I'm gonna do A and then reflect changes. Sounds great. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and now, um, yeah, let's do a new game here. But before that, give me one sec. All right, just had to quickly check something really quick, but let's go to do a new game now. Homer mode or seedling mode? Normal. The bonuses found in seedling mode will not be given for players to perform more of a challenge. Seedling mode. Items will ship for more money. Player stamina will decrease more slowly. Friendship levels will increase at a faster rate. Skill experience points are easier to gain. Skill experience points? Holy shit. Shop prices will be lowered. I'm gonna do normal mode. Um, I think a lot of you probably want to see normal mode. Um, seedling mode is for people who are beginners in the Harvest Moon series and Really, just looking at my channel and look going down to the section that says Harvest Moon slash Story of Seasons, you would know that I am not a newbie to the Harvest Moon series. I've played almost 20 different Harvest Moon titles on my YouTube channel. And in case you're curious, yes, I do have that um, as a section. Just go to my main channel page and then go down there, scroll down a bit, and you should be able to find that in so many different um, HM slash SOS games that I've played. A long time ago, my grandfather and his friends blazed a trail and established a new settlement. They called it Olive Town. Wait, I can't... Oh, you have to do auto? When I was a kid, I loved listening to stories of my grandfather's pioneering days more than anything. You actually can't press the A button to advance the dialogue, I'm just saying. Since then, it's been my dream to live in Olive Town, just like he did. You also have a log, which I also find very fascinating, even on this regular dialogue here. Okay, well, we can we have to do some uh, character customization here. So facial features, I can do pioneer, frontier, energetic, bright, exotic, fresh, sweet. Home. Okay, there's actually a lot. Um, I'm just gonna let's see here. Mischievous, friendly, maybe friendly, confident. This is actually really nice. Sly, mysterious. Okay, I'm gonna go up to the very top again. The normal one is pioneer. Frontier. You can try energetic or bright. I'll probably do like bright. No, actually, that's. Should I just go pioneer? You know what? It's a let's play. Let's do pioneer so we can represent the, the default, right? Well, that at least. Skin color, let's see. Ooh, there's no in between. My my um actual skin tone is somewhere in between these two. I'm, I'll just go with this one. That's fine. Right eye color. Oh, wow. You can actually have different eye colors. Like from one eye and another. Interesting. There's actually a condition for that if you have an eye color that's different than the other. Oh, I forgot the name. Something Chromia, I think. 
Something like that. Something chromey. I, I do know that hairstyle. Let's see here. Okay, definitely not long. Actually, I think the basic one's gonna be good because... Interesting, okay. Um... Also, you know what's actually very interesting? Um, the game didn't actually say... At least I don't think so. You know what, I'm not even gonna talk about that because I might be wrong on something. Oh, successfully downloaded data, okay. I'm just gonna keep that like that. Um, hair color, caramel brown, I think I can go with darker shade with that. Silver, let's do chocolate brown. Voice. Brush is fine. Bearing. Let's do powerful. Outfits. Yeah, so what I was gonna say is that the game didn't actually start by prompting you, you know, you wanna be a boy or a girl. And I find that very, very, um, just smart as a decision because it's the year of 2021. And I don't know how many of you actually know this, and I'm not going to spend too much time talking about this because this is a freaking Story of Seasons game, um, but or a video, but not exactly, you know, I'm not going to be talking about social issues and all that for too long, but just know that it's better to do that and let people choose their own instead of prompting them boy or girl. Don't do any, but put features for what our society would say for both as well as anywhere in between and let people um, associate with their own gender that they want to. That's the way that you make a quality light game when it comes to features like this in the year of 2021. Really before this too, I'm just saying now it's 2021 and you know, this is actually being put more out there, which is very good. It's a very great decision. You know, motorcycle color. Um, so... I mean, I want to do black, but that's so basic, you know? See, I like red. I also like... Because I like burgundy. I also like teal, though. I'm going to go with green. The green is actually very dark. I'll go with this dark green. Confirm color. I don't even know you're going to have a damn motorcycle in this game. This, what the hell? What, what is this? Is this? You're telling me this is Harvest Moon? Motorcycle? I feel like I'm playing a racing game or something right now. Jeez. Oh my god, this is definitely, this game takes the, the cake for the most ridiculous intro in a Harvest Moon game ever. <laughs> in a good way, I'm not saying that's bad, it's, it's, that's actually really, it's so hilarious to me. It's like a motorcycle scooter thing. This is amazing, I love this game already. I, I haven't even actually played the damn game yet, and I already love this game. Alright, now it's nighttime and I'm still driving, still riding at night. The music is also really good. The visuals are actually pretty damn good, in my opinion. I know that the visuals got a lot of um, attacks, a lot of criticism. Um, but, I don't know, I mean, for because, like, in a way, like, I'm just thinking, like, what are you supposed to do in a Harvest Moon game? It's, you're not going to put real-life people, like, real-life graphics, right? Unless people actually want that. I don't know. That move by itself, by the way, because um, I still have it set to auto. I, I can probably disable that, and I probably should. Alright, so I arrived. Okay, I'm gonna disable auto. And who might you be? Did you come all the way here on that motorcycle? Um, I did or no, I didn't. Um, I'll say I did. Well, that must have been an arduous journey. Your poor motorcycle tells a story all of its own. Okay, so now I can use the A button to advance. I couldn't in the other one. Ah, oh, you didn't worry about it. I can have the repairs arranged. I'll be taking it to a man named Clemens who runs our tool shop. You can pick it up later once he's all done with it. Uh, by the way, might I have your name? Sure, I always go with my, you know, 
Same name here for all these Harvest Moon games? It's Shiny. Confirm name. I see, so your name's Shiny, is it? That sounds so familiar. Or have I heard that name before? Oh my goodness, your birthday, it's, uh, it is what I think it is. I mean, I always go with December, or sorry, well, winter. It's December 20th, my actual birthday, so I just do winter 20th because that correlates to that, in my opinion. Two's birthday, yes. Yes, I remember now, winter 20. What do you mean you remember now? Come to think of it, his grandchild would be 20 by now. Ah, oh, that would make you... Huh, interesting. No, the whole thing that I was... Well, actually, you know what's really interesting, though, still? Um, so, some of the stuff that I just said, it didn't really, wasn't completely applicable, but it was still a step up because it still let you choose features of what our society would call the other gender, and then actually choose, like, boy, yet choose features of what society conditions you to be a girl. So, at least there is that, because you can still do that. Um, you don't have to be set specifically you know, to what society says. Okay, I'm not, I'm not talking about that. Okay, I'm not talking about that anymore. Um, um, I think I'm done with that. I, this is not a that type of video. This is some freaking Harvest Moon, okay? Yes, of course, my apologies. I don't know how I could have forgotten when you're standing right in front of me. Goodness gracious, to think my dear old friend's grandson would find his way to Olive Town. Come on then, I'd be happy to show you to your grandfather's old farm. Is something the matter? Actually, let me guess. By the look on your face, you'd like to ask me, are you quite sure this is Grandfather's farm, sir? And to that I would say, it is. When your grandfather lived here, this farm was a lush and beautiful place. Emphasis on the was, I'm afraid. Now, what was the name of this farm again? It's on the tip of my tongue. Your grandfather must have told you the name of the farm, surely. What was it again? Um, I'm gonna call this... this um, I like to go with my traditional names here in all my Harvest Moon Let's Plays. A lot of you probably already know the reference to that. Manor Farm. Yes, that's what it was. Manor Farm. Interested in taking over the farm, are you? Well, I can't say I'm well versed in the subject, but I can at least teach you the basics to start you off. So we're going to learn some basics, it seems. Oh god, something just fell. In my, in my room, I mean. Here you are. I'll pass these along to you. These are tools for developing the farm. As I'm sure you are well aware, this farm has been, or has seen better days, but those tools will be the key to changing all that. Using tools and items, press left or right to select an item in the item bar. You can use the highlighted item with Y. Okay. Items you found will be placed in your bag. Press X to open your notebook and view your inventory. Be aware of trees and stones while clearing things out. You'll need special tools to deal with those. Clearing the land. Using an axe while standing in front of a tree will allow you to chop it down. Stones can be broken with hammers and sickles can cut wild grasses. Utilize your tools to clear the land. I realize this is a lot to take in, and it might be baffling at first. Take things at your own pace and you'll gradually grow accustomed to it. Ah, and do use this sleeping bag in your tent if you find yourself exhausted from work. A good night's rest will restore your energy. A sleeping bag. Sleeping in your bed will recover your stamina. Your game progress will automatically be saved the next morning. You're welcome to take some notes on all of this for future reference. If you do, you can view them from the notebook in your tent at any time. It's funny how he tells me, you can take some notes on all this, even though he already explained everything. You're supposed to tell people to take notes before you begin your lecture. Rule 101 and being a lecturer or a teacher or anything like that. Examining a book or bookshelf in your house allows you to view tutorial tips you've seen thus far. Cool. Nice. Oh, wait, dude, wait, why isn't... Oh my god, my B button is malfunctioning or something. The controller. Following along so far? If you're unsure about anything, I can explain it to you once more if you prefer. Uh, I'm good, thank you. I'm, I'm really good, I just want to play. Excellent, glad to hear it. I have some other things I should explain to you as well, but I'd rather not overwhelm you. Let's wrap it up here for today. First, I'd like you to try out everything you've learned. I'll be back tomorrow to teach you how to grow crops. Oh, and if there's anything about all the time you'd like to know, I'm the man to ask. I... Uh, Wait, I'm its mayor after all. Okay. That's a quick word of mayoral advice. I'd suggest you get acquainted with the residents. Leaving a good first impression is paramount, I always say. Now then, I'll be on my way. Until tomorrow.
Thank you, thank you. Alright. Wow, look at my little tent thing here. Okay, so here we can view encyclopedia, all the stuff. I'm not gonna look at that, no. What is this? I can write in journal? I think that means saving? View bar notes, view coop notes, so there's a bunch of... You don't have to write this, so, okay, whatever. You can listen to the weather forecast on the radio. It's important for farmers to know what the weather will be. You'll be able to listen to the forecast for the next day and beyond. So be sure to tune in. Also, look how many hearts I have. This is crazy. I mean, I'm sure it depletes very fast, because I just played Harvest Moon 1 World. And, you know... Sunny one, okay. Cool. Spring 2 will be sunny. Oh, wow. So it's the, it's your current day plus the next two days. That's interesting. But yeah, I just played Harvestman One World and that game you start with like four hearts or something. Like, wow, huge difference. Okay, so here you can see birthdays. Interesting, what's this? Egg hunt on the 15th. These are all just birthdays except... Oh, whoops, that's not what I meant to do. I wanna go... How do you go... Oh, like that. There's a lot of villagers in this game. This is only one... Wow. This is only one season. Pet Derby. Okay, I don't need to look at all that right now. I can just... Whatever. And that's sleeping. I'm gonna avoid that for now, obviously. Let's go. Okay, loading screens are good. I was about to say, one thing that really can make, make or break a game is the loading screens. If the loading screens are horrendous, then that's bad. If you sow seeds in your field, you'll be able to grow crops. Try planting some seeds after Mayor Victor has taught you a little more about raising crops. These are onions. If you discover crops you've never seen before while clearing your land, harvest and ship them as soon as you can. If you do, those crop seeds will become available for purchase at all of town's shops. Nice! Okay, that's amazing. Oregano! Onion! Wow, that's like the first oregano ever in Harvest Moon ever, like... Whoa. Okay. I mean, I might be wrong about that. What was that? I don't know what that was. There's actually a bunch of stuff. Wild berries, okay. Interesting. Okay, so how do I... Still trying to just see the controls here. Okay, so that's all cool. That's whatever. Um, a bunch of trees here. Alright. A broken bridge. The movement is a little weird. <laughs> if I'm being honest. I don't know how to explain that, but... I also can't even go in there. Hmm. It's saying eat. That's mostly because I'm highlighted over a, uh, thing. Okay, I see. Blood Clam. Okay. You start with 3,000 money, by the way. I'm just, I'm just foraging everything I can find right now. That's a Moondrop Flower. Okay. And then here is just a bunch of... That's interesting. What is this? Chicken? You have no place to house the animal. Try again after you repair the applicable dilapidated facility. Okay. Well. Okay, so let me go ahead and... What is it again? Uh, X? Yeah. The tool bag. Your tools can all be stored in the tool bag. When you need them, take them out to use them. And when you're done, you can store them back in there. Make the best use you can use of this... Okay, I see. The tool bag. So I'm currently in... Okay, so... These are logged. This space can be used once the bag has been upgraded. I see. Okay, so there's four rows. Tool bag is here. Okay, okay, so you just... So the tool bag is its own separate thing. Which makes sense. Then we can put that there, and then we come over here. And now they're here. Interesting, okay. So well, we, we need to chop some stuff down, apparently. I'll probably get some lumber from this. Log. That took about a whole heart for just one tree. Now, I don't know if I actually need to be doing just that, but... Let's let's check out everything else in the menu to get familiar with this. Records, animal information, minigame, change title. Okay, I don't need to do that. Um, skill level. Use the axe to cut down trees and stumps. Logging will also yield wood materials. So it hasn't really explained to me what these levels do. Oh, you get some traits? 
Interesting. Use the sickle to cut wild grass. And there's mining. Communication. Speak with and befriend all of town's residents. Friendships. Okay, so it seems like you get traits or probably like passive abilities or something. And then recipes as well. Okay. You can make these. Oh, this is for crafting. Okay, I'm not going to craft it right now, though. I, I don't really need to be doing that, I don't think. Okay. Birthdays. Well, this is, this is just like the log of people. You can see birthdays and then their friendship levels. Okay. So, I think we're good to go. I mean, I can just, uh... I can keep chopping stuff if I really wanted to do that. I could. By the way, you can't hold it. You have to mash it. Um, if you, I tried holding Y, but it didn't work. Oh, I got a sap as well, whatever that is. Okay. As you get used to farm work, you'll find yourself leveling up various skills along the way. When these skills level up, you'll gain special traits and learn new crafts. Okay. So I'm level 2 now. I mean, I guess I can focus on logging right now. So, like, I can go over here and check this here. Now I'm level 2. Slight boost to logging ability. So that's what I have now, because I'm level 2 with that one. Okay. And I got Lumber Maker as an obtainable recipe. Okay, this is... This is pretty nice. I actually... I think it's a fantastic idea. To put a leveling system in a Harvest Moon game. That's something that's incredibly rare. And it's shown up in a couple Harvest Moon games in a bit of a different version. I'm not going to get too specific with that and compare right now, but uh, just note this has appeared very rarely in a different way in a couple other Harvest Moon games. I can think of one, but not like this. I think this is actually really good. I want to reach, I mean, I'm actually draining all my freaking stamina, which is kind of not good, but um, I'm also curious to see, like, I just want to show off, especially to all of you, because some of you might be curious, you know, about, like, what am I going to learn at level 3? Using tools will deplete your stamina. If you run out of stamina, you'll pass it and wake up in your house the next day. Choose a meal from the item bar with Y to eat it. Eating meals will recover stamina. Okay. Hopefully in this game you don't lose stamina just by walking around. Yes, Harvest Moon One World does actually do that, which I find stupid. It's completely ridiculous. Okay. Have I reached? Oh, I did reach. Okay. There we go. Slide boost to logging ability. Logging consumes less energy. That's okay. So see? And those are just passive abilities, it seems. Okay, I should probably stop that though, though for now. I reached level 3. That's good. Uh, let's go visit the town because, you know, it's 3.40. Still got plenty of time for today. Actually, it's pretty late. Shit. But, whatever. That's fine. Okay, how's this loading screen? This loading screen's a little longer, but still not super long, so it's perfectly fine. It's reasonable. How do I just, like, put this shit away? I, like, I don't want an eating prompt to appear or walk around town holding an axe. That looks ridiculous, but... I guess I'll just put it like that? Sure. I know there was a guy right there I could've talked to, but let me go in here first. The Hoof House Animal Shop. The animal shop sells livestock and pets. If you tame all animals on your farm, a larger variety of animals will be available for purchase there. Hours of operation, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. closed Tuesdays. Okay. Let me talk to you. It's a pleasure to meet you. You're shiny, right? I'm Patricia. I run the animal shop. Keep that in mind now. I expect you'll be needing to come by before long. Okay. So let's actually see how much just one talk ups that. Holy crap. So at this rate, four to five talks will get me to level two? Seriously? Wow. Huh? It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh my, you inherited the farm? That's wonderful. I'm Bridget. I'm very familiar with handling animals, so if you need any help with that, please ask me. And there's you. I can't even see. There's a freaking giant pillar in the way. Hey, I haven't seen you around here before. Oh, your name's Shiny, is it? I'm George, Captain of the Ferry. Good to meet you, lad. Alright. So yeah, um, it's important to go around everywhere right now and um, talk to as many villagers as possible. Get acquainted with them, start building up, you know, your friendship points with them and all that good stuff. I'm press okay, so L R Z R Z L do nothing, at least right now. I can sit. What does this do? Nothing, I don't think. Okay. Uh, let, let me see. Let me actually go here. Buy livestock. 
Oh, I can't. Shit. Well, damn, what about you? Buy pet. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Not that I would be able to afford one anyway. I should be using my money for other stuff, so... It's fine. It's all good. Okay, let's see if... The next... Actually... Oh, I can't even go over there. You can turn the camera a little bit, but that's as much as you can turn it, it seems. Okay, so these signs will actually... Okay, great developmental decision. I hate it when Harvest Moon games do not do this. Like, my god, you're just trying to make the gamer get tortured. Jesus. You have to put that in the game. You have to do it. Olive General Store. The General Store sells seeds, seedlings, and various other products. Their lineup changes each season, so check back often to see what's in stock. That was operation, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Okay, so seeds, seedlings, and various other products. Are those crystals? Jeez, okay. Hey, uh, you looking for anything in particular? Oh, so you're shiny. I heard about you from the mayor. I'm Jack, your friendly neighborhood general of General Store Generalities. Okay, that flopped. I'm Jack, nice to meet you. <laughs> that was fun. Hand over? Um, I don't know what hand over means, but I'm actually a little scared. Like, am I just gonna... Does that mean gift? No, right? There's no way that means gift. Howdy, you're shiny, right? I'm Angela. My family runs a general store. Nice to meet you. Okay, that's... I think that gives me a level up, no? Did I already level up? Oh my god, I already level up. I totally missed a prompt. So, so no traits from level 2. Level 3, obtainable trait. Obtainable, okay. I see. Welcome to Olive General Store. How can I help you? Let's buy some goods. Okay, so I can buy some seeds. The thing is, I'm gonna get a tutorial tomorrow about that, so I should, probably shouldn't buy stuff right now because I might get free seeds and then I can see what I should buy after the tutorial. But here's a little overview in case you are, you know, wanted to see this. As you can see, the way I'm playing here in this first part, because I have the, uh, the game a week early, I like to show off like everything. Like normally I'd be just like, all right, I'm leaving, but I wanna show off the whole menu to all of you so you can see what this game has to offer, you know? Buy materials, same thing here, I'm gonna do this too. Log, grass, stone, rabbit fur, rabbit fur. You can buy rabbit fur and wool. You can buy regular logs, stones, and even grass, okay. No, I didn't mean to do that, shoot. Furniture. Candle, simple death lamp, pot shaped lamp. These things don't really, I think they're just decor, they don't like give you passive abilities, right? Or anything like that. I know that sounds ridiculous by me saying that, but some games with like your customization stuff do actually grant you small passive abilities while you have them in your house. Um, let's see. There's like nothing else over here. Oh, you can so you can zoom in by pressing right stick. You can actually adjust your zoom level. Um, that's interesting. Okay, I'm going to do this, I think. Oh, thanks, I'll take it. Oh, that was just, okay, so that's just gifting. Oh, okay, okay. Handover basically means just to, like, give as a gift. This game just uses the handover terminology. Okay, that's cool to know. Now, uh, let's see, now what am I gonna do? So that's two buildings already done. Checked out. Uh, let's go ahead and go this way, I suppose. Okay, that one said Mar Marcos's house. Oh man, there's a lot of people here. Well now, you've got the look of someone who hasn't gone fishing before, am I right? Don't you worry, this is as good an opportunity as any to learn. I'd be happy to teach you if you'd like to try. Here, for starters, I'll give you this fishing rod. It was just lying around my house, and I'd rather put it to good use. Thank you. Using the fishing rod, you can cast out your fishing rod as long as you're facing a body of water. Once you've got a fish on the line, reel it in and begin the battle with your catch. The rules of fishing are simple. If there's a body of water, you can probably cast your line into it. Simply face the water, throw out your line, and the moment you nab something on the hook, start reeling it in. Once you've gained enough fishing experience, I bet you'll be able to reel in the big ones, just like Miyamo and Marcos can. And that's all there is to it. Now get out there and enjoy the fish. Wow, thank you. Okay, so... Oh nice, level 1 fisher now. Cool. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Marcos, a fisherman. And you're shiny, right? We're a tight-knit community here. Everyone knows everyone. Come by and shoot the breeze sometime. 
Sounds great. Let me talk to Manuela. Good to meet you. Could you be the new owner of that farm? You're shiny, right? This is funny because she already talked to me, but it's like, oh, let's introduce each other again. My name is Manuela. Don't you forget it. Okay. You come here to sightsee? I can guide you around if you want. Ooh, you're the one who came on that motorcycle shiny, right? I'm Emilio. Don't you for don't you go forgetting it. Why are they all saying don't forget it? What the hell? Hello. Hello, we haven't met before, have we? Oh, so your name is Shiny. I'm Raul. It's a pleasure to meet you. Cool. Um, I'm not going to be giving gifts right now to people. I think I'd rather hold on to my resources because I'm going to need to ship them. I just gave that one because I wanted to see what handover meant, but... Aside from that, I'm going to take a quick little, like, break from that, you know, and be like, nope, not doing it. Okay. So... That was three whole buildings. Um, so you can't save... No, no, you can. My bad. I thought... No, no, okay. You, you can save... You automatically save in the morning, but you can also save at will. Okay. Um, there's a boat here. Can I enter it? No, I can't. Hmm. Well, okay. Um, so that's the whole beach area. Okay, this is actually going to be a good time to end the video, more than likely. Because I... I mean, I can't really... Oh, look. I'll talk to you. Who are you? Hey. Laura. If you're looking for the low down on Olive Town, then you come to the right gal. Wait, you're shiny? Mayor Victor told me about you. I'm Laura, the, the town's tour guide. No question, it's a dumb question as far as I'm concerned, so fire away if there's anything you'd like to know. I fully disagree with that comment. There are dumb questions in this world. Okay, um... Cool. There's a lot of buildings here, and we will definitely keep exploring this next time. Maybe it'll have to be tomorrow because it's now 7 p.m., but we'll see. Let, let me try out the save feature. Save. Yeah, you can just save at will here. That's that's actually really good. A lot of older Harvest Moon games don't have this. You can only save when you sleep. Which makes sense, you know, if it was older Harvest Moon games. But, alright. So before I end this video, I would like to encourage you to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on those notifications if you enjoyed the video. I do post multiple gaming videos daily, so be sure to check out my channel. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.